Hi, I'm Ralph Demetrius, one of the astrologers, along with Lonnie Demetrius of the Planetary Calendar. And this is the short version of our yearly forecast, our Chinese New Year forecast for 2021, the year of the ox. We did a large forecast, Lonnie and I together. You can find that at the Planetary Calendar Astrology website. But this is just a short version to get you kind of an idea of what's happening this year, because it is a very interesting year. Now, traditionally, from the Chinese point of view, the metal lox is a good financial year. And the reason is, is that Jupiter is now in Aquarius. And Aquarius is a sign of commerce because it's all about the people you know. So it's traditionally seen as a good year. In the metal, it means that that Saturn is also in Aquarius, also in an air sign. So it means those energies are going to work well. There's going to be a lot of partnerships forming this year. There's going to be a lot of cooperation forming this year. But it really depends upon where you are on the globe. It's not universal. It's not like someone in, in Bangkok is having the same year as someone living in Topeka, right? It's very locational. And for that, we use astrocartography. Now, I think we're kind of unique in that, that we use both the you know, the astrocartography charts and the astrology charts, and we cast them for lots of different places. But we've been doing this forecast for like 20 years. And like I said, make sure you watch the long one because it's very interesting. It gives you more details about this. But right now, let's talk about what's happening this year. And let's talk about what's happening this year in the United States of America, because that's where we are. And it's very different from coast to coast. What's interesting is that in the last several years, America has been kind of on the stage, but it hasn't been the center of attention. Stuff has been happening in Europe a lot or Asia. But this year, all of the major planets, all the visible planets, and those are the ones people pay attention to, are over our section of the world. So if you are out during the actual new moon in Aquarius, which is what the Chinese New Year is based on, and you look, looked up, if it wasn't for the sun, of course, you would see the whole array of them overhead. It just filled the sky up. Well, when that happens, it means that's the stage this year. That's where everything is happening. Now, the sun and the moon are passing right down the smoothest one of the world out of the way. Get to the United States. The sun and the moon are running right down through the middle of the country. In fact, it goes right down past uh, Omaha, Nebraska, Denver, down through the Texas panhandle. But it's actually the other planets. They're the ones that really um, become the players. Jupiter and Venus uh, and Saturn, they're all over along the West Coast. The West Coast is getting a lot of emphasis here. Interestingly, Saturn in Aquarius, a rulership position and one of the commanders of this chart, runs right down through California and the West Coast. So this year, you have the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn in Aquarius, over the United States, squaring Mars and Uranus in Taurus. That's practically the whole chart. I mean, the chart's so simple this year that anyone could read it. Any astrologer could look at this and say, oh my gosh, what are we looking at? This is really serious. It means things are very unified. On the West Coast, it's, it's reality time. It's really time to look at the issue with the power grid, the infrastructure, the fires, climate change. Climate change is going to be the topic this year. It's because of that square between Mars and Uranus to all these planets. These are in planets that relate to the Earth and to positive change as a collective group. Very important. And reality is hitting the ground in California and along the West Coast and in the West. The whole West has been taken over by fires for a whole bunch of years now. We're very much feeling it here. Okay. But it's going to be very much out in the open because Venus and Jupiter are there and they're conjunct in the same degree. A lot of money is going to be devoted towards this. A lot of investment is going to go into it as well. Okay. Now, if we didn't do this, Right? If we didn't follow this path of being responsible adults, we'll get bulldozed by nature. Nature will just bulldoze through us. That's what's going to happen. But we're not going to do that. Why? Because we're in California. <laughs> we take the environment seriously. We live with it. We adore it. And we're happy that now our favorite daughter, Kamala, is in Washington working in the White House and is our advocate for this. And so therefore, people are going to take us a little bit more seriously. Instead of saying, oh, California, who are they? 
again, who are they? The most populated state, the wealthiest state. And speaking of Washington, what's happening over there? A very different situation over there. Who's angular? Neptune. Well, Neptune is the government. Neptune is, you know, how do you, you can't really see the government, can you? It's kind of a nebulous thing. That's like Neptune. Neptune's one of those planets you can't see without a telescope. It's also in Pisces, a sign that relates very strongly to the government, okay? It's the most angular planet in the entire chart, and it's this group of planets in Aquarius, they're all in the eighth house, the house of collective power. The eighth house also relates to Scorpio. Coincidentally, the sun sign of our current president, Joe Biden. In fact, not only is he a Scorpio, he has a whole bunch of planets. It's what's called a stellium in Scorpio. This is a person who knows how to use power effectively because Neptune's at the midheaven. It's going to have to do with how the government is remade. What's really interesting is there's a great feeling of youthfulness in this, which is funny. He's our oldest president ever, right? But during the previous administration, a lot of great people were forced out of the government in senior positions. Well, now as they're hiring and they're bringing, they're going to be you know, appointing a lot of judges, they're going to be bringing a lot of young people in who have a very different look at the world than the current administration or government does. So it's, there's going to be a youthening in the, uh, in the society, a youthening in terms of um, how our government functions, you know, a much higher level of technology savvy people. It's important to realize that Aquarius is about positive change that affects a lot of people. Two of our most revered presidents are Lincoln, and the other one is FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Why are they revered? I mean, they oversaw the two bloodiest wars in American history. They're revered because of how they remade the country. It was... Lincoln, who unified the country, up until that point, states thought they could just leave. Basically, during Lincoln's time, he said, no, we are a unified organization. We're, a, we're the United States of America. And that's when the federal government became much more powerful. During FDR's time, he was the one who basically created the Bretton Woods Agreement that remade how the global community works. That was the founding of the World Bank and many organizations like that. That was FDR. They looked at the world in a much bigger way. And that's what we're dealing with this year. We're remaking our country, and in some ways we're remaking our world with a broader view. With its square, Mars and Uranus and Taurus related to the environment. We're in a very, very exciting time right now. So make sure you come and see the entire forecast that I do with Lonnie. You'll find that at Planetary Calendar Astrology on YouTube. You can also find our weekly forecast every Friday. You can also see our educational portraits of famous people on every Tuesday. And you can also go to planetarycalendar.com where you can find the planetary calendar so you know what's going on, as well as our books on various topics. And until next time, be well.